everyone. So I had this memory of uh, myself imitating my mother's behavior. Um, I was practicing authority with some stuffed animals. And I relate all this to childhood stories that were told. Um, many of them have been made into popular movies or they're um, the same story pretty much being told again and again. So <laughs> if we think of um, the toys coming to life or all the creatures in our imaginings that are characters that have specific skills that deal with the conflict within the scenario of the imagining of the storyline where there's good and bad and right and wrong and a leader and a warrior and a, a coward and a, all the different various personalities that exist in the world and I look at my dream and how I'm imitating the behaviors of my mother to be like her this is me continuing the sins of the father which is continuing the division of ourselves into developing personalities with which to interact with our world and <laughs> so as children we have all this there are all these stories that exist of the fight to survive and resolve conflicts. Um, There's so many of them. The Bill Pullman, uh, a subtle knife series. There's The Hobbit. There's um, some some of the older ones like um, oh, the Witch, the Lion, the Witch in the Wardrobe, and. Some of the movies that have been made, like Bud Lightyear and with Woody and Bud Lightyear, and interesting within all these stories, or um, I think of the Velveteen Rabbit, which my son acted in when he was young. And what is stressed is how these children love all these uh, imagined friends and. It's just role play to develop oneself and practice the persona um, cloak that one wears and all the attention is upon the development of this. So what happens as we grow up into adults, we idolize movie stars who are made bigger than life and airbrushed in media to appear probably not exactly the way they are and we idolize that and then <laughs> we when we get older and sometimes it happens sooner we worship gurus and gods and um, I mean it's the same story again and again and it's all in our imagination separate from this actual physical world and our existence actually reflects this in the way we watch movies and play video games and watch television. We've become exactly what we're taught to become as children to imagine. And everything we're imagining and watching and uh, becoming, even if we ascend to some fifth dimensional higher plane, that is still us wanting to separate ourselves from what is actually here in the physical. So we completely ignore this physical world and the repercussions of this are fast accumulating if we realize that every fish in the ocean is filled with plastic or if we realize that many of the pesticides on our crops are no longer sufficiently um, working to stop bug infestations. So our actual physical world is a mess and we're all dreaming of another plane or going into a church to pray to our grown-up Bud Lightyear and <laughs> it's the same story again and again and the starting point is a repetition of this kind of behavior as what children do to imitate their parents to survive in a profit-based system that does not support life first. So. <laughs> We've completely ignored the physical and what would happen were we to actually start from the beginning 
being here, being here with this physical world, actually bringing ourselves into awareness of this physical world instead of developing a picture awareness of imagining. So we really start out imagining and separating ourselves from the physical world and we continue that imagining. That's all we do and the physical world reflects what we're doing staring at a screen of images moving around in stories, a repeated story of conflict, of judgment, of what's more than and what's less than and what's more beautiful and what's less beautiful and anything to take us away from here and imagining is taking us away from here and our physical world is not perfected if anything it's <laughs> infected with toxins and it's ignored so everything that's here is showing us exactly what it is that we're doing we're completely separate from the physical world we're not taking care of it. We're just repeating what we learned as children to imagine many different combinations of character playing roles to deal with conflicts. The way to stop this is to support all life, to stop our monetary system that supports profit before life. So if we support life, perhaps we'll discover the physical and remain here on earth and stop the existence of ourselves as image makers where we have not really become anything other than what we started as children. Perhaps the images have just become more elaborate. It's time to stop this. It's time to allow our children to develop here with the physical, here in this physical world. Thank you.